Hello and welcome to I Am. In this one, talk about the system reserve partition, that is the hidden partition that contains boot configuration database and Windows recovery environment. And I will show you what is there inside. And the next video, I'm going to show you how to delete that recovery partition. So let's get started. So first of all, let's go to the disk management tool by right clicking on the start button and clicking on disk management. And there you're going to see because this Windows is in legacy BIOS mode installed. So my disk is in MBR format. So if I right click and go to properties, click on volume and then you're going to see my disk is in MBR partition. If your machine is installed in UEFI mode, then it's going to be GPT. So in case of uh, legacy BIOS installation, you will have at least two partitions created by default. So this is the system reserve partition and this one is the C drive where you have the operating system installed. Now if you see that there is no drive letter assigned to this one and there's this has the C drive. Now what is the content of this system reserve partition? It basically contains two things. The first one is it contains the boot configuration database that contains the boot related information. And the second thing it contains is the recovery environment. So in case if you are not able to successfully boot your machine two times, you list like uh, you had two boot failures, then it's gonna automatically boot into recovery environment. Or in case if you have two unexpected shutdowns within two minutes of boot up, it's gonna automatically go to the Windows recovery environment. And from there you can do recovery, troubleshooting, all the different stuff. So let's get started and I'm gonna show you how what is there inside this drive. So for that I can simply right click and then you're gonna see we have the shrink, uh, we have a change drive letter path option available over here. I can click on that and then I can click on add. Now before I go that I'll just show you that uh, over here also showing you that we have two partitions and showing you that what is the size how much is the free space and uh, how much percentage it is free. Now in some versions it's a, there's a bug so when you do the fresh installation it creates that partition but doesn't store the recovery partition so it's going to show you like 90 to 95% free. So uh, let's assign the drive letter. Clicking on add and any drive letter you can assign I click on OK and the drive letter got assigned. So when you go to my computer this PC there you're gonna find where there is a, a system reserve partition here. Now it's empty, right? What it contains, it contains some hidden files. So if I switch on the hidden files by clicking on view, show hidden files and still you're gonna see that there is nothing showing up. These are system hidden files so we have to switch on viewing the system files. So if I go to options and go to view tab and then you're gonna say that I have to don't don't hide system protected operating system files and click on OK and then you're gonna see that these files are visible now. Now what it contains is that first of all whenever you boot up your machine it contains the boot sector and there is a backup of boot sector so in case if you have a corrupt your boot sector gets corrupted you can uh, restore from here. Second thing is you have the boot folder that contains the boot configuration databases. So we have BCD. This is the text. This is the binary file that contains all the information about boot up. And then we have some uh, localized resources sitting here. Second thing you're gonna see we have we have a recovery folder. And when I double click on that, it, I don't have permission to go inside that folder. So I just need to get the ownership of that. And then I'll be able to show you what is the inside. Now before that I want to give you a warning that uh, whatever changes I'm going to do, I'm going to do in the virtual environment. Those don't mess up in your machine. You may have a, a, a non-booting PC. So now let's get started. And um, First of all I'm going to show you that if you don't properly boot up your machine two times then automatically recovery environment comes up. So if I just simply uh, turn off the machine without properly shutting down. I say power off. I will boot up two times and then turn it off while the boot up is going on. So if I start up Now when it is booting up, I will just simply turn it off. This is the first time I'm turning off. Again, I will start the PC. And again, it's trying to start up. It's still, it is not trying to boot up from the Windows recovery environment. And then again, I will just go ahead and click from here. 
And the third time when I will fire up, it will automatically boot into the Windows recovery environment. So here you can see that it's going for automatic repairs, trying to repair, although I don't have anything wrong over here. Uh, my boot configuration database, everything is healthy. So it's just trying to repair it and then it's gonna show you a message that you want to continue booting or you want to shut down the PC. Okay, so uh, I will pause the recording over here until just finishes and I'll, I'll be back after some time. Okay, so now you can see that it's getting the the screen that says that your PC did not start correctly, so you want to just restart again or you want to manually troubleshoot the errors. So I'll simply say restart and it's going to restart successfully. So now after this is restarted, I'm going to show you what is there inside that Windows recovery environment. So uh, I don't have the permissions. First of all, I need to take the ownership of that and I need to give myself permissions to read those files. Let's switch it on to full screen. Okay, so I will just go to this PC and from there in this recovery partition we don't have permission. I have to get the permission of that. So I just open the command prompt as an administrator. And then I need to go to that location where I have all the system reserve partition that's sitting in E drive. And now I need to take the ownership. So we have a command called as take own. And if you don't know how to use this, I can say forward slash question mark. And from here you can see that you need to specify forward slash F and specify which file you want to take the ownership. So I want to have the ownership of all the files. And I want to do a recursive, so all the folders and subfolders also I want to get the ownership of. So I say take ownership forward slash F star for each and every file and forward slash R for recursive. So now it's going to give me the permission. It is asking for this particular folder. Press N yes. And it's done. So now I have taken the ownership. Now I need to give myself permission a full control of that. So for that we have ICACLS command line utility. For that, I just need to give myself full permission. So for that, again, I have to say ICACLS star, give me permission for all the files. And uh, to whom you want to give permission, I will put my grant, my name, what type of permissions you want to have. So I need to have a full control, F for full control. And then I need to, again, specify over here, I want to have recursive control. So I'll put forward slash T. So ICACLS star that is for all the files slash grant me permissions I am logged in as admin and push colon in the parenthesis I need to specify what permissions so I need to have full permission and forward slash T as I showed you over here to get the recursive permissions and also folders also so I press enter key and I got the permission so now I can see that I have access to the recovery folder and here we have log files and we have windows re folder and here we have the winre.vim so in case of uh, improper shutdown it actually boots up from this vim file so that's all what we have and in the next video i'm going to show you how to delete this if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video